Let's go back to last week, uh, if we could, real quick. Uh, sure. Just talk about how much excitement there was after you guys got that close win. Oh, man, it was it was a great close win. I feel like uh, on both sides of the ball, man, we were just excited to see everybody perform and uh, just had the opportunity to uh, have a, such a competitive game in front of our fans. Just feel like we've been working on it. So must must well deserve for all season and everything that we, we got the opportunity to do something like that. How sweet was it to see Juwan Johnson get out there with your position group? I know he's had a kind of a rough start, but it seemed like you guys were pretty stoked for him. Oh, man, I was excited, way excited. I seen a big man. I seen it throughout the game, too, the confidence. I just I just seen he just start to feel that it was, everybody was too little for him on the field, man. So I, it started off with a couple blocks, then the first catch, and I'm like, okay, he got him rolling. I was hoping we got a big ball on him, see him go up on somebody. But, man, he, he, he ready, looking real good. I'm excited. What's the report on this USC defense? Uh, what are some of the keys for you guys? Uh, some of the keys just got to be disciplined. Uh, they got a good defense, uh, a lot of great players on both sides of the wall, especially especially on defense and the box and the defense uh, backfield. So um, really, we just got to execute, um, try, try not to let the hype get to us. Um, we got a lot of players from LA, so we got to try not to let it get to us. So we just got to keep everything on the field, try to stay control, no emotions. What is there, Mike? Against that distraction of coming home to LA. Say it again. How do you fight against the distraction of like coming home to LA and playing in front of a whole bunch of family members, friends? Uh, really, I, I, just, I just say I just got to stay focused. I can't even think about, I can't think of it as I'm going home. I got to think of it as a, another business trip. Was we only going there to play a game and that's it. That's all. Uh, not as I'm going back home to see family and got to do all this. Never played. Not. I can't think of all that. That's all I know. I got to keep it, it here. Would it be fun to kind of show up in front of your home crowd? Oh, oh, definitely, definitely. But in the back of my mind, and well, in the front of my mind right now, that I'm keeping that in the back of my mind for a reason because I know I got to stay focused for this week and we got to get this dub. What has uh, Mike added to this offense so far this season? Mike. Yeah. Oh man, he's a great player. Uh, great hands, uh, great feet as well. Uh, very savvy, very savvy receiver, and is a competitor. And competitor, like inside the room, I feel like we got so many competitors. Every man wants to eat. So uh, when when another man eating, it makes another somebody else watching it even hungrier when they get on the field. So it's just all about opportunity. Everybody wants the opportunity to do something, but at the same time, we're not looking down on somebody else for doing something in the best way. So we all want to see each other eat. Do you think Juwan had a little bit extra confidence today after finally kind of having that breakthrough game? Oh, I definitely do. I feel like um, he, he just needed to get his feet wet a little more so he's so he could um, sh 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 show everybody what's going on. I feel like he's just been he just been waiting patiently, really. So he kind of got his got his feet wet a little more this weekend. I feel like it's about to get really real real ugly out here right now. <laughs> Coach talked on Monday a little bit about teams kind of learning how to win. You guys feel like you, you, you're kind of getting there with learning how to win some of these close games. And it, it, you feel that way, like you kind of do have to learn how to win these close ones. Oh, oh definitely. I feel like you got to. Uh, everyone counts. Um, you can't look for it. You can't look over any opponent at this point in the point in the season. I feel like uh, we just. You, you think every weekend one and zero, and I feel like um, you're going you're going to execute everything that you need to get done. Because at the same time. It is college football. It's hard to get a dub, and everybody gonna play their best against us because we have a winning season as well. So we know every game gonna get harder and harder. Not only because the opponent, just because of what we put ourselves at in the position. Candy corn is it good? Candy corn, it is good. Depending on if I'm going to the to the fair or uh, I'm a Snickers man, but I eat candy corn on Halloween, I guess. <laughs> if Coach Cristobal was dressing up for Halloween, what do you think his costume should be? Dang, I think I think he should be a Navy Seal. A Navy Seal. Navy Seal. That would be fitting. That's Chris of all perfectly, man. Cause I just get the whole he 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 giving me the whole vibe. I feel like he gonna come out there and do it perfectly. <laughs> what was your favorite costume as a kid? My favorite costume. I'm always a simple man. I always just come up dressed as a football player, really. Every time, every time I'm pulling up to school as a football player. So either that or a track player. So track runner as well. So yeah. What jersey were you wearing as a football player? I was wearing number 21. I was wearing Danny Thompson jersey. Okay. Yes, my favorite player, LT. So...